Hi, Stampers. I'm just loving everything to do with the Poinsettia Place Suite in the August to December mini catalog. Now, whether you say Poinsettia or you say Poinsettia, I think it depends actually in the country that you live in. But today I want to show you that you can make a card using the Designer Series paper in this suite with a minimum amount of stamping. Welcome to Stamping with Diane. I'm Diane Evans and I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm so glad that you're watching. Now, if this is your first time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel down below here so that you get notified every time that I upload a video. I hope to give you inspiration to stamp and to create different cards. Now, check out this beautiful DSP. This is actually the sheet that you can use um, this is actually the sheet that I use to make a card and I'm going to show you the card. So this is the card that we're actually going to make today. A little bit busy behind here in the background here. So what I did was I went and I took this particular designer series paper and you can actually take this die from the poinsettia dies and you can if there's one, the poinsettia that has none of the sprigs attached is the one that actually this will go in and cut it out. Trust me, it will cut it out. There we go. It would cut that one out. But there's other ones that have all the sprigs attached that you would have to fussy cut out. So I actually went and fussy cut all of my um, the flowers from this one because I wanted to leave the ones that I could cut out and use those um, for another different type of a card. And I'm also using this um, poinsettia petals and I'm just using the Merry Christmas from there. So I'll just move that out of the way. And I've gone ahead and I've actually fussy cut the flowers that I'm going to use. And I'm using the, this one and this one and I'm gonna layer it down below there. So I'll show you all the other stuff that I'm using with it. Now you'll notice that I really didn't use any color combinations that were in this designer series pack, but I really liked how it went with this soft sea foam. Okay, so the cardstock that you're going to need for this is your soft sea foam. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm just going to go in, use the bone folder to get that good and score it down. Now I do put my measurements on my blog and I do have a link below here. So I've also got a piece of gold foil paper. Now this measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And really, if you go to put that on your card, I cut this part out and I save, I, I'm just being frugal, but it also saves in weight on your card. But you could use this for so many other pieces. So why not be able to use your gold and um, use it all over the place? So that, I also cut another piece of the soft sea foam and this is three and three quarters by five inches. And I have a scrap of whisper white that's a half an inch by whatever length um, to put the sentiment on. And that's basically, well, there's a few other things that we're using in this card as well. I'm using the specialty uh, gold, forever gold laser cut dies or laser cut paper and I, I don't know exactly which one I'm going to use on this one it will be a little bit different than the one that I use well no we'll use the same one that we used before so I'll take that one out this feels really thick anyways I'm going to take that now I put this in one of our wood one of our old wood um, storage boxes and I just found that it was better than trying to take my paper out all the time so I just put it in there like that I've gone ahead and I've run this piece through this, uh, it's called the Forever Greenery, no, this is the Soft Texture, Tastefully Textured Embossing Folder, and I've run that through just to give a bit of a look there. And other things that we're going to use on here is this really nice gold um, trim, and it's from the Forever Greenery trim, and both that in, um, this and these laser things can be found on page 108 of the annual catalog. All right, so let me bring in my silicone mat because I'm just going to go down here with my stamp and seal. And I'm just going to... Didn't 
roll that so that's why that's not working oh this stuff is so sticky well we want it to be that way right so and we'll just do a bit more right here there we go and i'm just going to layer that right onto my base now this works really good if you have glimmer paper too as well because nothing really sticks to glimmer paper so if you've got this extra space in the middle it works really quite well now because of this i'm going to have issues with this so let's get this even down at the bottom and see if we can get it even at the top yep all right and then i'm just going to go and layer i'm going to put on three strips and this is going to hit right into not only is it going to be on the gold foil but it's also going to be on the soft sea foam below all right so see how you can't even really notice that you haven't used any of that so now with this laser bit here we're just going to put that looks crooked doesn't it that's not good all right so we're going to take that off because i want to make sure that that's good and straight I think if I had layered that on onto, let's see, I'm just, just going to pull this up. It does pull up, not too bad. Let me put that this down. This is where this does get a little tricky because of it being, let's see, there we go. Great idea, but sometimes here. Now I'm just going to put this onto here. Good and straight. I can iron out or press out with my fingers the gold. And then let's just put that on the front of the card. Well, that's not going to work out here. Does that ever happen to you that things just don't work out the way that you want them to work out? Okay. There we go. That should be better. And now we're just going to put this down here. There we go. I can't seem to get that part straight. It's one of those days that you just don't have your fingers working properly. There. I think that works better. Okay. And then I'm just going to take the gold laser one here and let's just go across there like this and then what we're going to do is on this piece we're going to have this go up like this and this down in here like there so I'm going to actually attach this part here underneath how this is going to go I'm going to go like so. I didn't want it to go up like there. There, I think like so. And then the reason why I want to do that like that is I want to go on to the back here. And I want to take this gold. And we are going to loop it. I want to loop it so that... It looks so pretty behind it. Let's see how that looks. Out there. There we go. I think I've just cut that off there. And really, this is any which way that you want to do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going in with my dimensionals. And I am going to hold this down with some more dimensionals. Not sure why my dimensionals are doing what they're doing right now. So they're not coming off very well. All right. So then let's put this here. More dimensionals there. And I think I'll put one more in there as well. There we go. Now I'll bring this part back in. 
this is such a simple card. Um, it requires a lot of different product, but it's very simple to actually put together. The thing I think is the hardest on there would be the fussy cutting, but when you're used to fussy cutting, it's quite nice and gives you more use of your designer series paper. All right, so I'm gonna put this up here. So, there we go. Might wanna trim that little piece off there. I think I will. And then I've gone ahead and I've, I've stamped this in um, Versamark and then did um, gold embossing powder with it. And then I'm just going to actually just fussy cut And then we're going to pop those up with dimensionals at the bottom of this. And then what I'm also going to show you is a very simple card using the same uh, amount of, uh, or the same type of designer series paper. So I'm just going to come in with my little mini dimensionals and I'll use my paper piercer today. I don't know where my Take your pick tool went to. And here, I'm more in the center here. There we go. And I'm just going to put this down like so. And then we're taking the, um, these are the beaded pearls, and I'm actually going to put that in the middle of that one. I could put it in this one, but it would add a little bit too much bulk. And then I'm just going to come in with my blue dots, and that's how I'm going to attach them. These work really, um, stay on really, really well with the glue dots. Um, so let me just... Yeah, just put it on with the one there. And there we go there. So there's my card. I hope you liked it, or I hope you like it. If you do, give me the thumbs up. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate um, to leave a question. I will answer them. Um, leave a comment if you like. I would really appreciate the comments. Also, if you would like to get notified every time that I do a YouTube channel, uh, just subscribe down below. You can hit the bell. That bell goes off when you get notified every time I upload a new video. And also, if you live in Canada and you do not have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. I can send you, just shoot me an email, just send me a comment, and I can arrange to get you a catalog at your place. Also, I give away every month for any online orders. I do give away tutorials and you can use this host code for any amount and you get your tutorial for free as my token of, of appreciation. So hope you have a great day. I hope you like the poinsettia. Poinsettia plays sweet as much as I do. Oh, and I did mean to show you one more card, very simple card. And this is just cut from the other paper. So simple card, just didn't even do any embossing on it. Just had soft suede on there and some pearls. So there you go. Two cards. One from simple, one to elegant. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. Bye for now.